All right, um, now you should have a full Galaxy S9 ROM with Majisk, everything you need. Now you go ahead and customize it to your liking. That's pretty much it. Hi guys, Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get oh, on Android every day. day. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to install the Galaxy S9 ROM on your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. Let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing you want to do is go into settings, about phone, and check out the model number. Mine is on the SMG 930F. Now, this method will only work on Exynos model of Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. Go ahead and check my website for all the models listed. If you have a US model, Snapdragon model, it's not going to work. Um, but if you have an Exynos model, it's most likely going to work. All right, go into software info um, if your model is supported, and then go ahead and hit the build number about five times until it says developer mode has been turned on. Hit the back button twice, and if you go swipe down, you will see developer options menu. Go ahead and tap on that. Uh, make sure it's on, and make sure OEM unlock is checked on. Um, make sure this is checked on, all right? Now, installing this ROM involves um, pretty much wiping everything on your phone. All right, that's just the way it is. If you're on stock firmware, if you've never rooted your phone, then you're gonna have to lose everything. All right, make sure back up everything on your phone. You know, you're gonna lose all of your apps, app settings and all that. Uh, unfortunately, that's the way it is. You may be able to use Smart Switch. I'm not sure it's actually supported on the S7, but actually once you install the S9 ROM, you are able to use Smart Switch. So back up everything. I don't know how you're gonna do it. That's up to you how you do it, um, but back up everything before you begin because we're gonna erase everything when we install this ROM. But by the time we're done with this, you'll have a Galaxy S9 software running fully on your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and power off the phone. And once powered off, you're gonna go ahead and hold down, volume down, the home button in that order, volume down, hold it down, then the home button, and then the power button. You should see a warning screen like this. Go ahead and hit the volume up and this will put it into download mode. Next, you're gonna go ahead and connect it to your computer via micro USB cable. And you will need a Windows computer, so go ahead and grab a Windows computer. If you don't have one, go borrow one from your friend. Okay, next, you're gonna go ahead and download a bunch of files. Go to galaxyas7root.com. Go to Tools and go to Odin and Drivers. Um, go ahead and download Odin and also Galaxy S7 S7 Edge Drivers. Now the download links for all the download files are all at the bottom here. Just wait for a few seconds. Um, wait till it says click here to download, click here. All right, that's how you download. All of these are ads, don't click on the ads and download um, the files you need. All right, Odin and Drivers. And also you'll need uh, the latest twerp recovery. So go to twerp.me on your computer, go to devices, go and type Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. For S7 Edge, you'll need to get this one. And for S7, you'll need to get this one. All right, go ahead and download the appropriate one. If you have a SMG 930F like I do, you can go ahead and download this one. Click on Primary Americas or Europe, it doesn't really matter. Or if the Korean version, go ahead and click this. And also a seven edge, same thing here. Um, find the model that you have and download it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to um, the Primary Americas. Um, the file you wanna download is the latest version at the top ending in img.tar. All right, click on that. And I've already downloaded, so I'm not gonna click on it. And once you have downloaded all the files, you will see um, that I have downloaded the Torp recovery. And also I've downloaded the Samsung USB driver, the drivers. I download the Odin 3, blah, blah, dot zip. And also you will need the ROM file. All right, um, I'll have links on my website, so check it out. Um, go ahead and download the SAC 23S9 custom ROM for G930X. This is what you need for both S7 and S7 Edge. Now for S7, you'll need to download flash no navbar your phone, uh, S7 underscore flat dot zip. For S7 Edge, download this other one with S7E.zip, all right? So basically you need one, two, three, four, five files, all right? Uh, like this if you have S7 and if you have an S7 Edge, like these five files, all right? Double click on Odin3 blah blah.zip, extract all files, 
and you will get a new folder in your downloads folder called odin3 underscore v3 1.3.1 double click on odin3.13.1 exe all right this is the actual odin program now if you do have the proper drivers installed most likely if you already root it then you'll see this blue highlighted sign a box if you don't see it go back to your downloads folder go ahead and double click on samsung usb driver mobile um, dot exe and run the program and go ahead and unplug and plug your usb cable to your phone and you will see this once you see this you're ready to go next we're going to go ahead and flash twerp all right go ahead and choose ap and you're going to go ahead and choose the twerp recovery file the img.tar file you download it all right for your model of s7 or s7 edge hit open now this is very important um as soon as uh, it's done flashing what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and hold down volume up and center home um after you hit start and as soon as the screen goes off you're gonna go ahead and hold down also the power and hold it down all right so watch my video before you try it that way you get it first time so i'm gonna start with volume up you can go ahead and hold it down and i'm gonna go ahead and hit start and i'm gonna hold down the center home and i'm gonna wait for the screen to flash and then i'm gonna hold down all three buttons all right, hold it for one, two, three, four, and let go. And boom shakalaka. You should be in twerp recovery like shown here. All right, here, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to wipe and you're gonna go to format data and say yes. This will erase everything on your phone. The reason why we have to do this is because with stock firmware, your whole phone is encrypted. We can't install new software until we delete everything so say yes all right this will erase everything on your phone hopefully you made a backup all right once that's done hit the home button hit the reboot button and hit recovery and do not install this will reboot us back into twerp recovery all right and anytime you want to reboot into twerp you can always um hold down volume up center home and power all right here we're gonna go ahead and keep it read only all right next we're gonna go back to our computer and we're gonna go to the download folder where you should have downloaded the sac uh, s9 custom rom and either the s7 flat or s7 edge depending on which model you have so i have the regular s7 not the s7 edge so i'm gonna go ahead and copy these two files and i'm gonna go ahead and copy into um, the internal storage or the micro sd card Mine already says SA Plus because I already installed the S9 ROM. Actually, I had an SA Plus ROM, so it just label it like that. But don't worry about it. Um, that's actually my S7. So I'm going to go ahead and copy over the two files I need to install this ROM. Okay, once that's copied over, you do not need your USB cable anymore. You can go ahead and unplug it. And you should see something like this. Now, if you're installing another ROM, um, it's the exact same step, but you're going to be copying over whatever files you need for your ROM. All right. Next, we're going to go ahead and go to wipe and do a factory reset. Hit the home button. Install. Now, for this ROM, you'll have to install each files. All right. After a reboot. So the, we're going to go ahead. And, so we're going to go ahead and install the main ROM, the, the SAC 23 S9 custom ROM. Go ahead and confirm to flash. And this will install the ROM. Now, in a lot of cases, um, you'll be able to straight install a bunch of files. If that's the case, you can go ahead and install a bunch of files and then go ahead and reboot. Now, um, if you are installing a such ROM like I have here, you will have to install the ROM, reboot, and then reboot back into Tor Recovery once it's booted, and then install the rest of the files. All right, but I'm gonna get go ahead and let this rest for a little bit. Okay, once that's done, go ahead and reboot system. Do not install the other file because with this ROM, you have to do it in this particular order. Otherwise, you will end up in a boot loop, which happened to me. And boom shakalaka. If you got this to this point, um, just go ahead and sign in. All right, once signed in, um, you should have Galaxy S9 ROM installed. Now, one more step, you do have to install another file to fix the audio for both S7 and S7 Edge, and also it will get rid of the soft keys. Um, so go ahead and do a power button and go to recovery. 
and you're gonna go to install and you're gonna go ahead and flash the other file. For me, it's the S7 flat. If you have S7 Edge, it's the S7E.zip. Flash this, should take one second, literally. Reboot system, do it on install, and boom shakalaka. You should be done. All right, um, now you should have a full Galaxy S9 ROM with Majisk, everything you need. Now you go ahead and customize it to your liking. That's pretty much it. Now, if you don't get data, data for some reason, you may have to go into connections, um, go into mobile networks, um, go to access point names, and you may have to um, select the correct one. Usually it will automatically do it. Um, try rebooting your phone a couple times, it will automatically pick up. It, if it doesn't, you can go ahead and add access point manually. I do have a guide on that. Check that out, I'll put that in my uh, website directions. And thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to thumbs up. Um, if you have a Galaxy S9 ROM installed on your S7 or S7 Edge and you end up using this as daily driver, please don't forget to donate to the original developer of this ROM. I'll have the donate link to the original developer, SAC23, XDA user SAC23 in the description below. Have a great day. And as always, stay whole on Android. Click here to subscribe.